Podcast on CWF Worldwide. Because we're going to fire fastball, strike one. Fastball, strike two. Oh, somewhere oh. in this favored land, the sun is shining bright. The band is playing somewhere, and somewhere hearts are light. And somewhere men are laughing, and somewhere children shout. But there is no joy in Gibsonville. The mighty Trevor Lee has struck out. Yeah! 
champion, former television champion, former three-time Mid-Atlantic Tag Team champion, the 2012 CWF Rumble winner, the 2015 Weaver Cup Tournament champion, a two-time Mid-Atlantic Heavyweight champion, the only Grand Slam winner in CWF history, and your reigning and defending. of CWF Mid-Atlantic, Trevor Lee, a favorite son who is traveling the globe as an international champion, will leave tonight with the one championship he has never held in this organization. Or Cecil Scott, we will see him for the last time. Roy Wilkins looks focused. Trevor Lee looks emotional and determined. The atmosphere in this room is unfreaking real. I really, in, in my 10 years in CWF, I can never, ever, ever remember an atmosphere like this, like we have right now. I, I, I can never recall such a tense feeling. And it's because Either you're gonna see a fantastic moment that you never thought you'd see, or the opposite opposite side of the spectrum, just the absolute worst possible scenario. Many people believe that they are seeing Trevor Lee in action for the very last time in this room. Coach Jim and I giving final instructions to Roy Wilkins. Yeah, I mean. And we you talk about that. You talk about, you know, a lot of people feeling like Roy Wilkins. And we got a circle here, but you can look on social media, and it seems like Roy Wilkins has been the uh, the odds-on favorite among a lot of the fans. I mean, you know, Trevor Lee, obviously the fan favorite, but many people feel like this is Roy Wilkins' match to win. And this is just an intense, stiff collar and elbow tie-up. Man, it is. They are just locked in like two, like a, like mountain goats fighting on the side of a hill here. And and Brad, you know it's, you know we always like to try to pick a winner, and I just really can't in this situation. The fans, well we got a backslide. Shoulders are down. Only two. The, the fans on Twitter, like I said, you know it seems like the the, the scales kind of tip in Roy Wilkins' favor. I think a lot of people are looking at it from a from a business standpoint. I believe a lot of people are looking at it of, well, Trevor Lee has got so much opportunity. This is a young man that is uh, going to Germany next month to participate in the annual 16 karat tournament. He is the current X Division champion for Impact Wrestling. It is well known that Impact Wrestling likes to have all of their champions locked in under exclusive deals. A lot of people are looking at it, not to mention the huge cruiserweight tournament that's coming up this summer that we know wrestlers are being recruited from all over the globe to participate in. A lot of people are looking at it from a business standpoint that Trevor Lee is moving on. But Cecil Scott, I can tell you from conversations with this young man, he does not have any desire to leave this place. He has cleared his schedule on more than one occasion to be here, to wrestle in front of these fans, to wrestle in this arena. Trevor Lee will not go quietly into the night, no matter how many opportunities lay before him, more than anything in this world, Trevor Lee 
wants to be the Mid-Atlantic champion. It, as I ran down all those accolades, it is the only championship recognized by, oh, 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 recognized by CWF Mid-Atlantic that he has never held. And you notice in the early going, you know, a lot of times we see Trevor try to do a lot of the, uh, I don't mean this in a derogatory way, but a lot of the cute mat wrestling, like the European style wrestling, we're seeing none of that here. It's all business. And if you're Trevor Lee, I think more than anything else, you got to just come in here and wrestle like it's another match. It's hard to say that. It's hard to put it into, into play, but you hear athletes all the time say, we're going to play this like it's any other game. And you can't come in here desperate because that's when you make mistakes. And I will, I'll never pretend to have been in anything this important in my life. But Roy Wilkins will pick you apart if you get desperate. That's a great point, but man, we have seen so many incredible matches and memories and moments from this young man. Trevor Lee idols at a gear that most of us can only dream to reach. Right, and now that's that's well and good. Wrestle your pace, but oh, oh, God. chicken wing, chicken wing the arm, and he is standing tall with him. And what I mean by that is that don't you know don't get out of your wheelhouse. Do what you're good at. You know, be Trevor Lee, taunting the coach. Oh, he's gonna get that arm. He's gonna. Oh, he was about to stomp right on that elbow. Wilkins very wise at rolling out. He knows there is no time limit here. He can take his time. No time limits, no holds barred, which okay. means okay. 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 the pile driver and all its variations, typically a disqualification in CWF Mid-Atlantic is as legal as a headlock yeah. in this contest. Wilkins has illegally used the flipping pile driver that he and the coach have dubbed the Cincinnati Destroyer. Wilkins has illegally used it to retain the title and in fact illegally used it to win the title from Trevor Lee. Right, and it's uh, very convenient that that was, uh, this was made no holds barred. So he could use that hold very legally in this match. That was actually one of the terms that both men agreed to. As I have been trying to put this match together, myself, William L. Cross, Michael Norris, and the other CWF officials have been trying to put this match together for literally since Battle Cade, since the end of our anniversary show in December, the day after Christmas. So since the day after Christmas, since that night, we have been trying to put this championship ah. back together. He's got it by the nose. Uh, no holds barred was agreed upon by both men. It was that added stipulation that if Trevor Lee did not win the title, he would never wrestle for CWF Mid-Atlantic and never wrestle in this venue again. That was the stipulation that the coach slipped in there at the last minute. And Trevor Lee is calling this portatorium to its feet. He's Roy Wilkins. Roy Wilkins may be about to go down. Ooh. And it seems the focus is on the arm. It's going to hamper a lot of Wilkins offense if that arm is gone. Wilkins so far has been able to evade every you know nasty move that Trevor Lee has gone for. These two circling each other still. And you know we kind of beat it over the head so to speak but Wilkins is just the consummate thinking man's wrestler. You know there's not a situation you're going to throw at him that he hasn't already thought of. Ah. But sometimes it doesn't matter how far ahead you see, you're going to get kicked in the thigh. Very, very deliberate pace, which is kind of what I expected here. Yeah, absolutely. The no time limit clause was eagerly agreed upon by both men. And nobody wants to make that mistake. You know, both guys are going to, and this is Trevor Lee. Uh, he's being Trevor Lee. Coach said he's going to make the champion match. And that, I think that's what Trevor wants. You get, whoa, there's a flag. <laughs> Challenge flag. You know, we talked about Trevor Lee getting desperate. How's this? Ah. Oh, that sends pain all the way down the leg. But what's going to happen if Roy Wilkins gets frustrated and desperate? Will he be able to think ahead like he normally does? He may have just stumbled upon the game plan of Trevor Lee. Yeah, Trevor Lee is no dummy. He knows how smart Roy Wilkins is. And Trevor Lee is a brilliant wrestler in that ring himself. But he knows you can't be a figure man's wrestler if you're being if you're kind of getting hot in there, so to speak. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, he's got an ab stretch on the rope. 
And there's no holes barred. He doesn't have to break. Ah. Oh. Oh, he may have hyperextended that elbow. Mm, the sound. Oh, God. Rang out. Oh, Wilkins. Is, he looks groggy. Oh, nice roll through. Oh, Wilkins reversed to a crucifix, and we almost had a three. Boy, as much as these two seem to be pacing themselves to go all night if need be. Oh, kick the arm. One mistake can still end this fight. Right, we say it all the time. It only takes three seconds. Ah, Trevor Lee is picking apart the champion. Ah, on the wrist, the fingers. Ah, ooh, ooh. The arm of Roy Wilkins is being bent at a grotesque angle. You know what, if that arm's broke, you're not going to pile drive a man. Ah, Trevor Lee keeps this up. We might get a Susie Spirit incident. Wow. Here in this Mid-Atlantic Championship match. Wilkins picks the ankle. Is he trying to maybe hook the seventh inning stretch? The arm. Ah. Oh, the arm. He couldn't hook it. Trevor Lee held onto the arm and dropped all his weight on it. And I think we've just found the, uh, the reasoning behind all this arm work. Trevor Lee still controlling the man. Control and he's going right back to the arm on that rope. He knows there's no DQ. He can utilize those ropes. And the reasoning being, you know, he's obviously he does have to break on these ropes, but we saw Wilkins already trying to go for the seventh inning stretch and could not hook it. And the coach, what is he's trying to direct some traffic out here. Oh, nice move, and I think that was the reason why he distracted kind of everybody there for a moment. Wilkins able to get the drop toe to get the great bind on the leg. And this is exactly the kind of uh, a little bit of a respite here for Roy Wilkins that he was looking for. And on the opposite side of things, Wilkins likes that hold on the legs. That was nasty. Mm -hmm. Now, I think the, the story going forward, how much damage was done to the armor Wilkins, will he be able to get some feeling going back in it as we go forward? Using the ropes to his advantage. Once again, there's no break. Yeah, no break, and both men know it, and you can claw at the face all you want, too. I think we got the potential for this thing to get really nasty at one point. Mm -hmm. Thus far, it has been a wrestling match. A very rugged wrestling match, but yes, a technical match at that. Oh, mm. Ooh. Ooh, turnabout's fair play. Oh, and he snapped it back. Man, what a great move. I don't know if I've ever seen Wilkins use that particular hold. Cecil Scott, I have often told people who are learning about CWF Mid-Atlantic for the first time that we like to think of ourselves as being what the classic Mid-Atlantic wrestling would look like today if it had survived into the 21st century. It has just occurred to me that this match, this one match, runs the risk, as this crowd comes alive for Trevor Lee, this match runs the risk of possibly running through the entire evolution of our sport because thus far it has been a very 1970s style minute. This is a very classic Mid-Atlantic Heavyweight Championship matchup. But check out, Chappie's in, heads up. What the? Oh, he's, is he gonna choke him? He's running interference to let Roy get a breather. It's no holds barred. Chappie like a small child on the back of Trevor Lee. It's like Trevor doesn't notice him. <laughs> who is literally walking around with him. Oh no. Ugh. And like we didn't know what was going to happen to Chappie. Well, Chappie might be sacrificed. Oh, oh no! Oh no, 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 no! Oh no! Oh, no. Oh, 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 it have been all right there. And that's the advantage of the All-Stars. And that's one thing we haven't really touched on. You know, it's been, I guess because it's kind of that elephant in the room that no one wants to talk about. You know the All-Stars are going to have a presence. 
Absolutely. We saw Lance Lude and Cyrus take the Mid-Atlantic Tag Team Champions to their limit last week on CWF Worldwide. We know they're floating around somewhere. We see Chappie at ringside. We see the coach at ringside. Walter Eaton could be looking anywhere. Basically, anyone that's under the employee of the coach, someone we may have never even seen before, could be lurking anywhere in the shadows of the Sportatorium. And Wilkins is reaching out for help from anyone right now. Now he's going to wrap up those legs here. Bow and arrow, maybe. Which kind of strays away from the arm, but starts to go to work on the midsection if he pulls it over here. Ah, painful move. And you, you called it. We're running through the whole history of, whoa, a modified torture rack. We're running through the history of the, the Mid-Atlantic region here with this match. The old classic bow and arrow. Wilkins down two. By, est by estimation, that's the first cover of this match. Oh, first real cover by Trevor Lee, I should mm -hmm. say. Yeah, there's been a lot of surprises. There's been a lot of flash pinning attempts. And right back to the arm. Ooh. Trevor Lee is manipulating the arm of Wilkins. And I think what Trevor Lee is doing here, I don't know if this is deliberate or not, but throughout their history with these two men. Whoa, what about his strong cradle? Shoulders down. Oh, oh, oh. oh, they're trading. Oh, shoulders are down. Man, got a fish out of water here. Boy, they've got to be cautious on the referee's count here. Man, this is so perilous here. That was close. Well, if you add it all up, both men just won this match about four times apiece. Right. But unfortunately, that's not how it works. Well, I was going to say, it, it, Wilkins is the one guy Trevor Lee has never been able to truly outclass in that ring. And I don't know if that's something that eats him in the back of the head and he's trying to prove something here. But it, it's got to be something you think about. Trevor's entire career, ever since he was 15 years old, has been about asserting himself as the alpha male, asserting himself as the best. Wilkins, I dare say, with no disrespect to any other champion that we have had, Wilkins, I think, has, been, has come the closest of any other to challenging Trevor Lee as the alpha male of this organization. Yes, we've had some amazing champions, but to your point, Roy Wilkins is one of very, very few on a very, very very short list that Trevor Lee has never been able to dominate. Right. I would say Roy, uh, matter of fact, I would say Roy Wilkins, Brad Attitude, and Eric Royal. The past three champions are the people that Trevor Lee has had the most trouble with in his CWF career. Apropos that he has never held the Mid-Atlantic Heavyweight Championship, the past three champions undoubtedly are the ones that have given Trevor Lee the most of a challenge and man alive. Right, and we always, you know, always like to bring up styles make fights, so to speak, and there's certain people that you just have a hard time figuring out. And Trevor Lee, you know, there are very few people that, that he's run into like that. They wanted to break the hand. Oh, this is getting nasty. We got somebody chanting five more times. God, that's gruesome, man. Three ain't enough, man. Oh, Wilkins, oh. Oh, going after the ankle. Got oh, right back to the knee. It's a battle here, the arm versus the knee, so to speak. Every time Wilkins finally breaks loose, he goes after the leg. As this thing progresses, I think you will start to see the similarities in the training of both oh. men. Oh, Trevor's so quick, man. Oh, he's going to try to navigate that shoulder to the canvas. Oh, he's going to try to navigate those shoulders down. Modified sugar hole here. Some of the fans saw that was three. Woo! I was about to say, I think as this thing rolls on, as we head into the home stretch, you're going to see the similarities in both men's training. Both men, products of the Mid Atlantic Dojo. Both men, at various points in time, have been trainers at the Mid Atlantic Dojo, our world class wrestling school located right here in the Mid Atlantic Sportatorium. So a lot of them know the same tricks. Very early in his career, a lot of people don't realize this, very early in his career, during his formulative years, Trevor Lee was mentored by Coach Gemini. 
guy yes, in was. training. So very much how we saw when Wilkins faced Brad Attitude, both men coming from the same training, the same upbringing, so to speak, in the sport. They know a lot of the same tricks. Yes, they do. And, uh, I, you know, I had opportunity to train with Coach Gemini at, at one point, and he teaches you a lot of little tricks that stay with you. Oh, nice. Nice escape there. As Trevor Lee once said, it is the little things that will make people notice you. And there's one of the little things right there. Trevor Lee just slipped right out, and he is trying to manipulate Wilkins to the canvas. And that's uh, a favorite of the great Johnny Saint, that escape there. You can tell Trevor Lee studies everybody. It's another advantage when you are booked all over the globe. Oh, straight jacket. It's another off. Ooh, 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 ooh. Cover! Right into the arm bar. Yeah, right back to the arm and put the knee right on the insertion point there. And gonna slowly, oh, oh, no, 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 no. He's got that wrist. He went for this earlier. He went for this earlier, Roy escaped. Oh, dropped it. He had that elbow compromised. Oh. And I get the feeling that Wilkins, that arm's going to be hanging by a thread by the time we finish this match. Trevor Lee is going to the outside. I believe the first time that he has gone to the floor in this matchup. Yeah, intentionally, anyway. And Stan hooked to that arm. Yeah. Dare I say, like a, like a dog, he has been gnawing on that arm. Well, he came in with a game plan, and he's doing exactly what I said he should do. Stick to your match. He wanted the arm, and he's taking the arm. Ugh. This is just grotesque. And I don't know. You're on the floor. You can't have a tap out or a pin on the floor. Correct. That is one thing we have failed to mention. The decision must occur inside the ring. Among all those stipulations, falls do not count anywhere. The fall that ends this match must occur in the ring. Anything on the outside, quite frankly, is just collateral damage. Right. It's no holds barred. It's no DQ. But, you know, like you said, it's just being in the ring, and the referee does still have some discretion out there. A coach ordering a champion around, but... Oh, no, he's going to the post. Yes, he is. He will destroy the arm of the Mid-Atlantic champion with this focused, determined challenger. And the further and further we go into this, any desperation or any nerves that Trevor may have had have to be eroding by now. He is firmly in control from the word go. Mm -hmm. Roy has had a few moments here and there, but Trevor has taken probably 80% of this match thus far. Crowd, as the match has gone to the floor, the crowd's lust for violence has increased. Yes, it has. And an ass stretch on the floor. There's something you don't see every day. It's hardcore, brother. Once again, Trevor Lee cannot win the title on the floor, but he can absolutely destroy the core of Roy Wilkins on the floor. Yes, he can, and he knows Roy can't submit out there, so he can just keep the stuff on as long as he wants. Right, it may take, oh, he's got the hair. Ah. I was about to say, it may take physical force from the All-Stars to break that hold. The quick thinking of the champion, he went for the hold. Oh, and Trevor hits the edge of the canvas hard. Wilkins is hurt on the floor, though. Wilkins could barely stand after being in that abdominal stretch for, what, a minute or so? Yeah. And it's, a lot of people don't realize how painful that hold is. Wilkins is struggling on the outside. He has created an advantage for himself, but has he absorbed too much punishment in the past few moments? Wilkins favoring the eye. And interestingly enough, Wilkins is the first one to abandon the technical wrestling. He is clubbing and stomping out there right now. Coach loves to refer to him as the technical wizard, the greatest technical wrestler, not just in modern Mid-Atlantic history, but in the history of the Mid-Atlantic. Uh, the history of wrestling, if you ask the coach. And this building comes alive. Just when you thought Wilkins was turning this thing back around. Mm. Trevor Lee again with the arm. 
He will dissect and destroy Wilkins. Quick and smart oh, and beautiful. slick. Beautiful transition to the cravat there by Wilkins. And how many times have I said it? He'll always find a way. Mm -hmm. And he has. But that arm, how long will he be able to hook this cravat with that bad arm? Wilkins, of course, survived maybe the greatest Mid-Atlantic Championship match we've ever seen, the six-pack challenge back at Battlecade 16. He then went on to successfully defend the championship against Lance Lube nice. and Chet Sterling throughout the early portion of this year before finally agreeing to terms for this match, the matchup that has been brewing a long time. Well, red hot since Battlecade in December, but yes, it's been brewing for a long, long time. Wilkins trying to break the holding. He's not quick enough. He's been worn down too much by the challenger. Trevor's avoided it each time he tried to break the hold. Nice carry over there. Into a pin! Oh, he just barely Ooh. got the shoulder up. Wilkins almost had to bridge out of it. They kind of boot scraping him right now while he's in the cravat. Just insult to injury. Two. And that is a hard pin to kick out of because literally every bit of Trevor's weight is on the upper body of Wilkins. Yeah, Trevor Lee has done a masterful job of creating situations where if Wilkins is even one second off his game, he could lose the championship. A nice reach through, going to try to pick the leg, go to the waist lock. Into the headlock. But again, that arm has been demolished. Yeah, but he saw him immediately transition to an arm rigger. That arm, I think, was giving him trouble. Wilkins, if he wants to stay alive, if the champion wants to stay alive, he's got to get a hold of something of Trevor Lee's and weaken it and pick it apart the same way Trevor Lee has done to him. Doesn't have to be the arm, but it looks like that might be his preference, Cecil Scott. Um, he's trying to pull the arm out of his body right now. And I think it's a case... He, he keeps going to the arm, and I think it's a case where he's trying to kind of turn things around and, and show up Trevor Lee. Mm -hmm. we got the leg trap. Is Trevor Lee going to shift his attention? Ooh. Once again, another situation where if Wilkins is not keenly paying attention to where his shoulders are, Wilkins is one second away from losing this title. He's got both legs grapevine here. Going to try to roll him over. Very nice move. A version of the Indian Deathlock. Talk about classic Mid-Atlantic wrestling holds. Talk about tra classic doofuses. Here comes Chappie. Oh, he's got the ankle picked on Chappie. Oh, ankle lock, ankle lock. Oh, Chappie is screaming for his mother. Oh, Chappie, it doesn't matter if he taps out. Great officiating by referee Red Jones in this instance, not to avert his eyes from the champion at all. He floats back up. He's got a vertical base now. I'd like to see him float over maybe to a Muda lock. But he's going to stay with the Indian death lock. Very, very painful hole. Very controlling hole. Not a whole lot of people use it anymore. No escape is right. This crowd is on Roy Wilkins, the champion. Yeah, but the champion has really not been able to get any sustained offense in this match. And Trevor Lee, dare I say, is wrestling the perfect wrestling match right now. Wilkins back out to the floor. He's had his most success out here thus far. Trevor Lee rolling it back in, gonna drape him over that apron here. Oh, what do we got? Look at the eyes of a challenger. Oh, that will bust up your insides. And there's this no, you know, normally you take uppercut, you try to rock your body back to relieve some of the pressure. Wilkins had nowhere to go. Oh boy. Oh no. Triple E going to use the ring post. Oh no. We've seen Trevor do this before. Gonna hook him on the post there. Wilkins is trapped. And nowhere to go, brother. Wilkins is absolutely trapped. Oh, 
Chinese water torture in there right now. He could waterboard his way to the title. That would be a first. I think that would be the first time it's ever legal. Hey, man, no holds barred means no holds barred. No holds barred. This whole ring could come crashing down around the body of Zeus before this match is over. Hey, they're shut down Gitmo, so they got to do it somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. These fans calling for blood here. Oh, he could just haul off and give him a shiner right now if he wanted to. If the, if the ring does come crashing down around the champion at the end, does that make William Cross, the TV executive, mad at the end of the movie? He absolutely is, actually. <laughs> Wilkins is hurting, and he, he fell. He slid all the way down the apron, did the champion. Trevor Lee, there have been obstacles to overcome, but Trevor Lee has been in the driver's seat for, what would you say, two-thirds of this match? Yeah, maybe? easily. He's taken over half of this by far. Mm. Great shot from my man Grant Sawyer on the floor. And all Ray Jones can do is watch. Absolutely, no holds barred. If any of our fans are confused, he cannot stop it for anything. Uh -oh. Very deliberate here. Trevor Lee just kind of, kind of backing off here. He's setting up something. Oh, Jesus. The hardest shot of the matchup. The sound bounced off the walls of the Mid-Atlantic Sportatorium. We thank you wherever you are in the world watching us tonight. But, man, we wish you were here. We wish you could have heard that shot. Man, unreal. Now I have to wonder, is Trevor about to try to kick this thing to another gear? Trevor picked up the chair momentarily and set it back down. He could have done anything he desired with that chair and it would have been completely legal. The Trevor Lee of even a, a year and a half or so ago would have taken every opportunity with that chair. In a heartbeat. This Trevor Lee wants this championship honorably. Oh, right to the gut. Surprising my move from Wilkins. Wilkins keeps finding openings. The problem with Wilkins so far is keeping it sustained. Wrenching on that neck with the knee and the chest. He, if he cannot sustain this offense, he's going to lose his title tonight. Absolutely. Oh, right to the eye, actually. It's all legal. And Wilkins was favoring his face when they rolled into the ring already. Ooh, just a hard right hand. Boy, now we are seeing some hurting bombs in this thing. Well, Wilkins, I think at this point, he's conceded that he's not going to out-wrestle Trevor tonight. He's got to make it a little ugly. Trevor is back on that arm. Oh, God. Man, sick. Sick thud on that. Absolutely. Speaking of sick thuds, kicked him right in the sternum. Wilkins down in a heap. Yeah, we're seeing, like I said a moment ago, Trevor is trying to pick up the pace a little. Did somebody just say make him puke? This crowd is rowdy tonight. Man alive. It is no holds bar. It is the end of an era. Either Wilkins will be a former champion or Trevor Lee will finally win the one championship in CWF that has eluded him all these years. But if Wilkins leaves as champion, we are seeing this incredible athlete, Trevor Lee, for the very last time. And yes, as we touched on earlier, he has offers to wrestle all over the world, but he wants to wrestle here. He wants to represent his home organization. This is classic Wilkins. Oh, but Trevor Lee knew to avoid it. Trevor saw it coming. Wilkins is powers out. How many times have He's we seen safe. Wilkins He's use the safe. rope? But how many times have we seen Trevor Lee do this? Whoa, Wilkins. Both men know each other so well. Oh. Oh, Trevor Lee's got that rope. Trevor Lee will not 
let Wilkins lift him up. Yeah, he was looking to drop him right on that apron. Trevor hanging on to that rope. Oh, Wilkins is showing his toughness in this one. Man, if Wilkins can get something here, it would change the complexion of the match. Icicle kick. That was an exchange Wilkins desperately needed to get the better of him. Trevor Lee again was a step ahead. The challenger is on his game tonight. Wilkins, shoulders down. Two, two. That was the best chance of this match so far for a victory. Now, you're Trevor Lee, you just stay focused. You hit a big move, you didn't get the pin, but keep at it. And Wilkins, look at the face. Look at the pain on Roy Wilkins' face. Oh. And one of the few times, it, it looks like Wilkins is kind of at a loss. He doesn't know what to do. And Trevor is stopping every single body part that Wilkins has. And caps it off with a stomp right to the arm. And Wilkins just out on his feet at the moment. Oh, not a whole lot behind that. Wilkins tried to come back with a chop. There was almost nothing there. They had nothing on that chop. He is just... Warren Wilkins down to the point of ineffectiveness. Win or lose, Trevor Lee has had an amazing game plan. Wilkins starting to get desperate now, putting more off behind those chops. Mm. He's not going to win this exchange, though, if you're Wilkins. Machine gun chops, Kobashi style in the corner. Good Lord. Yes, look at the defense. These people are coming alive in the Mid-Atlantic Sportatorium. My God. Look up in the corner. Wilkins hit Godzilla to the buckle. Oh, the top part of the buckle. He may have also hit the post. Trevor Lee is down and hurting on the outside. 30 minutes plus into this match. Wilkins finally got the move to turn this match around. And he is very, very wisely staying in the ring. Catch your breath. Yeah, once again, there's no count outs. There's nothing really he can do about it. Coach is in the ring. This crowd is still chanting for the amazing Trevor Lee, the champion getting a much needed breather. Much needed. I, you know, honestly, I can't blame him in this situation. He's been getting his ass kicked for 35 minutes. But that was an unbelievable counter move by Wilkins. Wilkins now in the driver's seat. Double sledge into the back. And our, our friends over at the Make It Towns podcast, they call him the God Roy Wilkins. And it may be a little gut, tongue in cheek, but he's kind of uh, proving his supporters right right now. Chavi with a cheap shot. He is an amazing technical wrestler. And he has shown his toughness, the way that Trevor Lee has demolished that arm. And look at the coach sending Chappie. What is it? Chappie seems hesitant. Is he going to send Chappie in to attack Trevor Lee? Oh! Oh, Chappie, Chappie, Chappie. Goodness gracious. And Chappie probably won't be around much in this match at this point. I don't believe so. And Will, but it gave Wilkins a split second. He's still able to stay on top of Trevor here. Oh, God, is he going to try to suplex him on the floor? Might be. Trevor Lee holding on to that turnbuckle. Oh, he hit him with a bottle of water. Man, that hurts. Clinched in a fist. Trevor Lee just decked Wilkins with a bottle of water. Yeah, that thing is 
you know, it's sealed. It doesn't give. Oh, no. Nick Breaker on the floor? There are no pads out here. Oh, Wilkins went to the hair in the eyes. Smart. Perhaps two of the very best we have ever seen. Wilkins again using the edge of the ring. We talk about it being the hardest part of the ring. Yes, sir. And it's something we haven't really touched on. Yeah, Trevor's been in control most of this match. But people don't realize performing offense will tire you out. Trevor Lee is probably the best conditioned athlete here, but he has also spent 35 minutes going. Right. And these moves by Wilkins, even though it's kind of late in the game here, will have its effect. Mm -hmm. And we're finally getting back in the ring here. Wilkins has completely turned this thing around. Oh, man. Setting up his all about his star cradle. Oh, there's down. Another reversal. the penalty kick on the floor. He got it in the middle of the ring and literally won this thing. And just as soon as I talked about Wilkins, turn this thing around. Here comes Trevor Lee right back. Trevor in control of the in control of the champion. Yeah, maybe he's not. Right, trying to create distance here. Trevor holds on though. Wilkins is known for wrestling defensively. He is known for avoiding the contact. Oh, Trevor may have got clothesline on the top rope. Trevor Lee's throat may have hit the top rope, and that could be a game changer. Absolutely, this late in the match, about 40 minutes into a match, and you, you get robbed of your oxygen, getting your throat dropped on the ropes. Oh, boy. Oh, he's safe. Two feet into the sternum of the challenger. Wilkins in control of the matchup. This thing has pivoted back and forth so many times. The leg of Wilkins could be injured. Now, well, you don't point it out much, but he does wear a fairly heavy brace on that knee. He did suffer a knee injury early in his career. Yeah, Wilkins then I believe the 11th year of his professional career. After that many years and that many battles, your body feels the wear and tear of all those amazing matches. Oh, Wilkins! Wilkins with the abdominal stretch on the outside. A receipt if there ever was one. You're not lying, he's got it hooked. It's stretching him out there on the floor. Again, you cannot submit out there. And he's getting, on, getting the leverage on the ropes. Got the leverage from Trevor able to roll out of it, and he reversed it. We are counter wrestling in front of the front row. Is this an octopus hole? Yes, the octopus hole on the floor. And he's leaning on the apron. Oh, oh. Ah. Yeah, leaning on the apron, meaning he doesn't have to use his own balance or his own energy. He is letting the ring be a third partner here. And he has got a, a, almost a key lock out of an octopus stretch. Wilkins, he's got, he's out of it. And he reversed it and reversed back. Right in front of the front row. Man, we're, I never thought I'd see the, the day where we see counter wrestling on the floor. And again, those hard kicks. Ooh. We talked about these two running the gamut. The entire evolution of our sport being showcased by these two amazing athletes. We might be approaching the era in which it became very popular to fight on the floor and fight amongst the people. Trevor Lee is laying into the champion. He is going tenderly on him right now with the chops and the goo punches. And he just cold cocked him. Well, if a 10 count on the floor could win you the title, Trevor Lee might have it after that shot. I think Trevor Lee would be a five-time champion by now if that were the case. 
He has held every championship in CWF Mid-Atlantic except for this one, the Rising Generation League title, television, tag team, even the PWI Ultra J Championship. He has been a TNA World Tag Team Champion and is the current TNA X Division Champion, but he has never held the number one belt. Oh, the elbow and the post! Oh, oh. Huge mistake by Wilkins, a monumental mistake by the champion. And extremely uncharacteristic. And I think of the two, Wilkins has reached desperation first. Yeah, absolutely. The way that Trevor Lee just picked him apart. Chicken wing, chicken on wing the on the floor, got him all the way down on the floor. And he's just content to grind him down there. And we're right in the action. He's got both arms at a very uncomfortable position, and Trevor Lee is soaking in the adulation from this crowd. And he's about to do something really bad here. Oh, ringside fans are getting involved over here. We got fans at ringside getting involved in the action. Coach is angry, but there is nothing he can do about it. Yeah, Coach agreed to the terms. And I want to reiterate, as I did earlier this week on my friend Jer Polk's podcast, CWF Mid-Atlantic takes great pride in honoring its stipulations. Win or lose, we will honor the stipulations tonight. No matter what happens, if Trevor Lee does not leave tonight as the Mid-Atlantic Heavyweight Champion, he will never wrestle for CWF Mid-Atlantic. He will never compete in this building again. Uh, and I, you know, I really don't even want to think about that possibility. Win or lose, Trevor Lee is giving us another classic, as is the champion, who again, win or lose, the champion has proved his toughness tonight. And it, like you said, if it is the last night, he is going out with a bang. We knew he would. Ah, how many, so many amazing matchups that both these men have been responsible for. This rivalry really began back in the 2013 Weaver Cup Tournament. Trevor Lee advanced over Wilkins in the tournament. As a result of the loss, Wilkins was briefly on the outs with the All-Stars. Asked for a return match. Trevor Lee won that one with help from Chet Sterling. That loss cemented in Wilkins' mind that he needed the All-Stars. Wilkins was very briefly estranged from the coach. He went back to the coach after that loss, and it brought him the Mid-Atlantic Heavyweight Championship some eight or nine months later when Wilkins ended the 560-day reign of Eric Royal. When he had the championship, Wilkins participated unwillingly in a fan vote. He wound up defending the title against both Trevor Lee and Eric Royal. He used the ropes to beat Trevor Lee. As a matter of fact, Wilkins used the ropes to beat every challenger during his first title reign, leading up to Trevor Lee challenging Wilkins to a matchup with oh, no oh, ropes. Oh, oh, oh. Shoulders are down. Ah. Ah. Trevor Lee would challenge Wilkins to a match with no ropes. One of the greatest matches we have ever seen in the history of CWF Mid-Atlantic. Wilkins won it. Uh, we may have a submission here. It's a, a variation on the calf slicer here. Half Nelson. They did not cross paths again until the summer of 2015. When the All-Stars and the Aftermath went to war, they captained teams at Ultimate Survivor last November that saw Trevor Lee's team defeat the All-Stars with an assist from Hurricane Helms and Matt Hardy. And then, of course, back at Battlecade, December, the six-pack challenge. Ooh, got the hair. Got the hair. He's using the hair to pin the man. Oh, my God, that was close. Back at the six-pack challenge. Wilkins defeated Trevor Lee in the last fall to leave Battle Cade as the champion. Since then, he has used the illegal pile driver hold to defeat Lance Lude and Chet Sterling in title defenses. Cover two! And of course, it was just a few weeks ago that both Lance Lude and Exiris joined the All-Stars, betrayed Trevor Lee in a huge 10-man matchup, and they literally 
buried Trevor Lee underneath the banner of the All-Stars. And that brings us to tonight, where these two amazing athletes have battled for 45 minutes plus. And the benefit of this YouTube show and using YouTube as the medium is we are gonna stay with this until we have a definitive winner. Worldwide, typically, 60 minutes or less. This thing has no time limit. We will stay with you tonight until we have a winner in this monumental matchup. Trevor Lee creates an open. And we were seeing Wilkins kind of grind this thing down and, and, you know, again, get some sustained offense. Wilkins fell victim to the jawbreaker, and that'll usually, it, it's a classic cutoff move, and it usually works. Into the ropes. Ooh. That's a hell of a move to take at this stage. Stuck him with it, did Trevor Lee cover? Two, two. Oh, he's got the arm again. How freaking good is Trevor Lee right on the arm? Staying with what he's been doing. He is staying with the game plan. And I was going to say, it, it shows a lot of resolve and a lot of a maturity by Trevor Lee. He could have very easily got caught up in a, a months-long battle with the Kamikaze Kid after Battle Cave. He stayed focused on what he wanted. He wanted Wilkins. He wanted the title. Positively, he did. Oh, oh seventh inning stretch. Seventh inning stretch. Not, to, not like he normally does it, but he's got it hooked. Now the ropes cannot break it. Man, he's got that in deep. He normally likes to hook the other leg with it, but this is doing the trick. Yeah, no rope breaks. Must fight out of the hold. Hey, Lee. Yeah, if you're Trevor, you got to figure out what direction you got to turn. I'll tell you, ooh, good move. I'll tell you, one problem with the seventh inning stretch is as this match has gone past 45 minutes, perspiration on the bodies is going to make that move harder to cinch in. Oh, huge backdrop. We're at 50 minutes in this Holy crap. Right at the 50 minute mark, you see the pain of Trevor Lee's face. We have just passed 50 minutes in this no time limit matchup. Come on. Come on. Two. And going back to the seventh inning stretch, yeah, the perspiration is, is going to be a factor, but you get over an hour this thing, the legs may be too numb for Trevor to feel the pain as odd as that sounds. Oh, wow. Yeah. You can't, you know, the lactic acid and everything builds up. Very rare that we see a match under any circumstances go past 45, 50 minutes. It is no time limit tonight in the Mid-Atlantic Sportatorium. We will have a winner. We will have a champion tonight. Oh, Boston Crab? Maybe. Yes, sir. Brilliant. This is a good move because what we were just talking about, the perspiration on the body, this takes all that out. Wilkins can literally stand there all night as long as his legs can hold his body weight up. And this is one of the hardest holds to escape from without a rope break. And, and the weird thing is, Trevor, he's got to try to roll his head under his body and come out from the front of Roy Wilkins. That's the best way to get out. But easier said than done, clearly. And he's actually trying it right now. Slips through. Oh, he's trying to roll it right back, but Trevor flips out of it. Mm. Wilkins half in the ring, half out. He can kind of take a powder if needs be right now. Trevor Lee pulled himself up. Wilkins doing the same on the far side. Oh, back elbow. Not a lot behind it. No, sir. Oh, crossbody into the cover! Two! Two! Boy, this place fell silent on that crossbody. Right, we're at that stage of the match where pretty much anything can end this now. You, you kind of get conditioned as a wrestling fan to expect certain moves to win matches. But you get an hour deep into a match, anything can do it. This place fell silent on that crossbody. And, and interesting to note, anytime either man gains control, they go back to the mat. They go back to grinding the man down. They know they have all the time in the world tonight. Right, no mistakes. We thank our CWF Worldwide viewers who, and it looks oh, like, hair. are gonna be staying with us into overtime tonight. Got the hair. Oh, he did a cover too. No. Yeah, he had a handful of hair, which, again, he could do as much as he wants. Me into the back. 
from the champion. And we're seeing both men have a hard time standing. There hasn't been a ton of leg work by either guy, but it's what I was talking about earlier. You can't feel your legs after a while. Wilkins limping. Ah! And this, all it took was one kick to buckle that leg. And we normally see Trevor Lee so hard with those kicks. Not a ton behind it right now. This crowd has never left the side of the challenger. Trevor Lee perhaps wrestling his final match in CWF Mid-Atlantic, and he is continuing to break down the champion. Man, hard kicks to the back. Good Lord, he may literally just bust up Wilkins with those kicks. And listen to this crowd. 55 minutes into this title fight, this crowd is still cheering along with every flurry of offense from the challenger. Wilkins is down. Yeah, he is motionless out there. And those kicks range everywhere from the spine to the kidney. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Trevor Lee has got to be careful here. Trevor Lee has got to be careful here. Trevor Lee's got to be careful. I didn't even think about this. The coach insisted that that piece of paper that we all signed, the coach insisted the title only changes hands on a pinfall or a submission. Trevor Lee cannot be so boastful as to go for a knockout here. Right. If he KOs Wilkins, referee can call that. Ah! The coach was insistent that the title can only be changed hands on a pinfall or submission. I didn't think anything of it earlier because it was no hold barred. He's, that piece of paper that Trevor Lee and I both had to sign, the, the addendum to the contract, it stipulated title can only change hands on a pinfall or submission. Right, and we kind of always get so caught up in the wording that we forget about knockouts or ref stoppages. Coach was adamant about that point. I couldn't figure out why. And the third time to that post. He may have factored in a way out here if disaster strikes. Right, and what is one of Trevor Lee's favorite moves? He likes to kick the man right in the face. Positively. And we've seen it knock people out. They break apart again. Yet Trevor wise to not let Wilkins stay on that leg. Both men down. No, both men up. Oh, figure four. Yes, sir. And it is locked in, center of the ring. Trevor Lee has got to make sure those shoulders do not stay down. And I bring this up all the time. You cannot get caught napping in this figure four. It is easy to lose focus and lose track of where you're at. And Wilkins, oh, shoulders down again. Wilkins is in control like he has not been in many, many minutes. Right, this is probably the best stretch of the match that he has had. He thinks they turned it. Yes, he did. The pressure is on Wilkins now. The ropes will not break it, though. He can use the help from the All-Stars, but the ropes will not oh, break God. it. And this is just one of the most technically brilliant matches I have ever seen. Both men down. They have given it their all in this instant classic for the Mid-Atlantic Heavyweight Championship. We talked about it going into Battle Cave. This championship symbolizes being the number one man in this region, the number one wrestler in the Mid-Atlantic. Trevor Lee wants it as he travels the globe. He wants to be recognized as the number one wrestler in the Mid-Atlantic. It's all he was wanted since he was a young boy. Oh, yeah, it's on. Mm, Backdrop got nothing. Woo! The high kick. Well, it's amazing that almost 60 minutes into this match, Trevor Lee is so dangerous with those kicks. Come on! Just like that, it can be over. And a high kick to the back of the head, right behind the ear. 60 minutes into a match. Mm -hmm. And no one too quick to get up. I've noticed for the last probably 20 minutes or so of this match. A lot of laboring out there. Speaking of laboring, I'm hoping my voice holds up for this thing, Brad Stutz. We are inching up on one complete hour that these two marvelous athletes have gone to war over the Mid-Atlantic Heavyweight Championship. And ironically enough, the last time we had a regulation one-on-one -on -one match going hour, guess who was in it? Trevor Lee against Andrew Everett in another 
hour-long classic. Absolutely. They went two out of three falls in that one. Man, Trevor really wanted to set something up here, but taking his time. And just, you know what he wants to do. We've seen it a million times for Trevor, but the energy is not there. And even in that match with Everett, we did not see Trevor Lee labor as much as he is right now. It goes to show the caliber and the damage that Roy Wilkins has had here. Oh, God. And Wilkins just slumps lifeless over that middle rope. But he is prone. What can Trevor get going here? He's going to tie him up again, maybe? Man. Just a straight right hand to the jaw, and Wilkins again slumps down over the middle rope. Ooh. Trevor Lee is deadly with those strikes. Now it seems like Trevor Lee has gradually moved his way up to the upper body, the chest and the head region. Watch out for Jeff, he goes. Double sledge on the outside. And again, very deliberately outside the ring here. And again with the European uppercut, he is going towards the chest, he's going towards the head. On the floor. Oh, oh, to the back of the head. These two have given everything they have for this championship. Wilkins dropped on the edge of the apron, but the fatigue is starting to set in on both men. Yeah, everything is uh, very calculated at this point to conserve as much energy as possible. We could literally be in the midst of an all-night war. And once again, fans, we will stay with you. We are at one hour. We have Holy passed crap. 60 minutes. We will stay with you until Watch we have kick. a winner. Watch the kick. Oh! He rang his bell at just past the one-hour mark. Wait, 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 wait. The All-Stars. The All-Stars have hit the ring. The All-Stars have hit the ring. Every last one of them. The no holds barred stipulation is in full effect. The All-Stars have hit the scene. And you had to get, you had, just had to know as soon as Wilkins was in danger. Even security Snooty Fox cannot stop it. It's all illegal. Yeah, Snooty can't step in unless someone not involved with this show is out there. It is all legal in this scenario. And man, this building just got pissed quick. And the man who had the smoking gun at Battle Cade right in there choking the life out of Trevor Lee. Oh man, this thing has taken a nasty turn. It can't end like this. All of a sudden, this thing has taken a nasty turn. And I don't know, oh God, Trevor's trying to fight up. I don't know if anybody is here to help Trevor. It is four on one. We are getting late into the night at the Mid-Atlantic Sportatorium. And again, choking out, oh my God. Wilkins, by the way, is getting a much needed breather on the outside. Yeah, he just got cold caught with that penalty kick. Yeah, Red, there's nothing Red Jones can do at this point. This is just absolute garbage. A man's career, his life is on the line here. We've got five guys beating down one. And it's Cyrus just talking junk in there. This is a mugging. The All-Stars are on Trevor Lee. We taught that Wilkins wanted to win this thing. He wanted to silence his critics. The coach has apparently thrown any type of honor out the window. They are ready to win this thing by any means necessary. The honorless All-Stars have attacked. Trevor Lee is getting choked out on the far side of the ring, and there's nothing anybody in this building can do about it. I wish I could say I was surprised. Well, that's repulsive. Oh, God. Imagine champion in the middle of a world title main event. Oh, and Vince Lou goes flying. 
Oh man, but there's still, what, three more of them? Yeah, the numbers game. Like Cyrus just slinging Chappie into the fight. Operation Human Shield is in full effect by the All-Stars. Yeah, it's a, it's a numbers game, and there's too many guys to fight. Mood hurt on the outside. Exiris has stepped up to lead this team with Wilkins on the outside. And again, it is all legal here. And Exiris to swing and you know what of the law out there. Jeez Louise. Trevor Lee is still fighting, man. And, it's, and you gotta get the feeling this is just gonna continue until Trevor can't move. They're gonna beat him down until he's unconscious. I can't imagine anybody not staying throughout this entire title fight, but a lot of guys, you know, when they're when they're done, a lot of guys head out early, beat the traffic. You may be right, there may be nobody here to make the save for Trevor Lee. Right, we knew going in that, you know, this episode of the TV show was dedicated to this match. Everyone may have bounced. Oh my God. That's a poor planning on the part of Trevor Lee in the aftermath, if that's the case. I'd like to think no one actually thought that the All-Stars were going to fight honorably. Trevor Lee trying to fight off the Cyrus. There's too many of them, man. It's time to hold him up for the coach. Wilkins has stayed down this entire time. Oh, no. The coach is going to get his licks in. Looks that way. Could be that fastball punch. Oh. Well, I highly doubt that that had as much effect as the coach is celebrating. Yeah, do that after the man hasn't been beaten down by five other people. Oh, man, this place. This place. People are coming up out of their seats. This scene is turning really nasty. And this is getting really uncomfortable, especially when you know what's at stake here. Yeah, no matter what happens now, Wilkins can never say that he did it on his own. They fought for an hour, but no matter what happens now, Wilkins can never say that he did it on his own. He knew the desperation would kick in at some point. Trevor Lee down in the corner. And you, have to, you just had to feel like if there were anybody here to help Trevor, they would have shown up by now. Stomping away. Once again, it is no hold barred. Every part of this scene is sadly, sadly legal. And we have to, we have to this crowd. The crowd's getting behind him, but we've got to sit here and call this until the inevitable happens. Until Trevor just goes lifeless and Wilkins pins him. They're measuring the challenger. Are the All Stars? Oh, he got the boot up. They have never been stronger. He does, Cyrus. Trevor moves. Chappie to the floor. Oh, no. Cyrus is still up. Now he knocks out Lude. Trevor Lee is fighting off this whole gang on his own. His own. Kick to the face. Oh, elbow to Cyrus. Oh, God, he killed him. He killed Lude. Up and over. Everyone! 
one down. Everyone's down, including the official. The brass nuts are hanging perilously in the center of the ring. I don't know if we can get a shot of it or not. Wilkins got to him. Wilkins dead. Oh, boy. Trevor Lee. German Noon. Oh, Snooty took it in the corner. Oh, oh he got the brass knocks. Head of security, Snooty Fox. Hit with the brass knocks. Got the arm, got the arm. Ah, pop the arm. Trevor Lee's got the knocks. Oh, he is cold cracking service. Bodies are everywhere. And there go the knocks flying into the crowd. Oh, my God. Man, this is just turning into absolute chaos. Seven again, Hoi Gatali, yes! Hoi planted him! He planted him and everyone is down! No referee! Wait, Kane Justice! Kane Justice is in! We, we gotta have an official! Yeah, absolutely! Man, imagine being a rookie referee in this situation! Oh, man! Gotta believe he's just the first one to get to the ring! Cover! Two! Oh! Two! Kane Justice serves two. Man, man, this crowd is at a near riotous level. Man, this place, you should have, the adulation that they had when he fought off the All-Stars and with that small package, and it's just gone right out of their sails, but they ain't coming back up. This place, an hour plus into this title fight, this place is still screaming its head off for the challenger. What is Wilkins doing? He's looking for something. Over to the outside is Wilkins. Looking for plunder. What is that? I hear the crash. Trash can. Aluminum trash can on the far side. It is as legal as anything else under these rules that both champion and challenger agree to. Small baggage. Got it again. Two. Oh. And I can't recall anybody kicking out of that Trevor Lee small package. It has beaten them off from Kevin Owens, Michael Elgin, and so many others that Trevor Lee has beaten with that small package. Wilkins has survived it twice. I believe that is correct. Minutes. We are an hour and ten minutes into this matchup. And I feel like they can both keep going. Wilkins still in got, control right now. We got bodies everywhere. We got to clear it out here. Wilkins, man, look how lost Wilkins looks. He, 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 I, I've never seen that look on Roy Wilkins' face before. Oh, Trevor, open hand strike. And Wilkins comes back. We're trading blows in the middle of the ring. Firing away here. Man, straight palm thrust right to the throat. Sent him into the buckle. Man, that was very interesting. I, I felt like Wilkins go for a schoolboy. Trevor trying to get out and ended up taking the buckle. Man alive. Ah, ah. This thing has been a roller coaster ride. Wilkins is back in control. Man, just standing on the side of the head. These two are leaving us with a classic. And unbelievably, after all that chaos, right back to the grind. Bodies are everywhere, all around ringside. And the challenger is down again. He's just pulling dead weight right now. He might wear himself out pulling the 200 plus pounds of Trevor. Man, what is he gonna do? Is he gonna cover it? Yes, he yeah, does. Hooks the leg. Two, two. That one was close. And we're in a situation, you're seeing guys go for pins on things they wouldn't normally go for pins off of. Fatigue. Everything, the beating that these men have given each other, everything, it just all adds up. It, it's just, like I said, it doesn't matter if you're taking, taking moves or on the offensive, it's gonna wear you out. And we can't forget the fact that we just had a 5-on-1 mugging just about 10 minutes ago. Right. Trevor Lee has basically fought a mob here. And Trevor Lee collapses to the floor. And Wilkins collapses right in the ring. Bodies and plunder all over ringside. Wilkins. Oh, no. What is he setting up here? Oh, both men fighting for position here. Trying to suplex him on that concrete floor. 
Oh. Ow! That's a good way to create some distance. Ow! Cannot believe 75 minutes into this matchup, he had that much left in him to throw a strike like that. Right, you see like heavyweight title fights, you know, in the 12th round, there's not a whole lot behind those punches. That's exactly what we're seeing. That's a great analogy. I know that you are a, a fight fan. That's exactly what we're seeing. This is a heavyweight title fight that, uh, quite frankly, may go the full 15, except that there's no way to stop it. It may go 15 and beyond. This is like late 1800s Marquis of Queensberry rules here. They're going 50 rounds. Man, you just hear all the plunder and everything getting knocked around in the building. Yeah, there's there's stuff all over ringside. And we're kind of jammed in here, so not a lot of room for extracurricular stuff outside like normal. Yeah, this is a turn away crowd tonight. We had to get Mitch, Mitch Connor shoehorn for these people tonight. Going to the top, perhaps? Man, what in the world? Superplex, perhaps? It's a big move right now. I was about to say, can you imagine being superplexed 75 minutes into the biggest match of your life? What in the world? Well, whatever it is, Trevor very wisely fighting out of it. Oh, not a ton behind it, but it created distance. Yes, it did. And whatever, you know, whatever Wilkins was going for, good for Trevor, he can't get it now. This crowd still chanting and screaming for Trevor Lee. Win or lose, he is giving us a classic here tonight. Now we may get the superplex. Trevor going all the way to the third rope. Oh my God, on the top floor here. He might drop him down the elevator shaft all the way down to the basement. Oh dear. Oh dear. Wilkins is lifeless on the top rope. Oh! Oh! They crash to the floor, to the canvas. They crash. Oh! And you got to think about how much that took out of both men. All the way from the top floor to the basement, they crash. Now 15 minutes. 75 minutes into a championship match unlike anything we have ever seen. Randolph Hedrick just made the call. Oh, Kazi's getting back in the ring. The All-Stars are beginning to stir. The All-Stars are beginning oh, to stir. No, no, Not a lot no. behind their shots either. Kane Justice cannot do anything. No holds barred. We need security at the ready. Fans are getting into a riotous atmosphere here. Yeah, referee can't do anything, and we know Kane Justice is a young man. He wears his heart on his sleeve. Oh, Chet Sterling! Chet Sterling has hit the scene! Oh, you gotta feel like somebody finally placed a call to Chet. And Cyrus bailing out! Sterling standing tall here! Oh boy! Oh, the on the floor! And he's still not going after Cyrus now! Chet Sterling! The teammate of Trevor Lee, former Mid-Atlantic Tag Team Champions. He was Trevor Lee's apprentice in the early days of the aftermath. Uh, but the numbers game is still there for the All-Stars. Yeah, there's too many of them. Oh, dear. It's Kendrick. The Assassin and the Ace have hit the scene. The Mid-Atlantic Tag Team Champions, the Assassin and the Ace, are in the ring. No, there goes Kazi. Oh, man. Lou's about to go flying. Oh, and he sent him into orbit. He almost dropped kick Grant Sawyer. And Cyrus is still up though. No DUI. Oh, dropped him on his head and neck. Yeah, what? What the hell? Where'd the lights go? Oh boy. Oh, we know that music. Oh boy. Oh, it's the PWI champion. Rick Converse! Rick Converse! With the man who betrayed him just a couple of weeks ago at Cyrus! The PWI heavyweight champion has hit the scene! And Trevor Lee finally has some aid here! I think you're exactly right! I think this thing actually went long enough that somebody placed the call! Turn around and get back here! Oh boy, 
Chappy sent out. Oh, and Cyrus is getting, I see William Cross is out there. The former leader of the aftermath. They are mugging and Cyrus. Cross is dragging and Cyrus out of here. The tide has turned. And now this second is the way it should. One on one. We are down to two men, as it should be. Champion and challenger. Like Battle Cade! It's Richard! It's Nick Richard! Cody! He dropped Cody on the chair! People are coming out of their seats! Richard and Cody have got unfinished business! And good lord! Nick Richards has electrified this crowd! He is straight Cody out of here! Oh no! Is he coming down? No, 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 no! no. We can come right! And now the smoking guns in the ring. That chair has come fully into play. Good Lord. Oh. Oh. Another chair in the ring. And Wilkins again right back to the grind, just beating on the man while he's down. And a second chair. Oh, boy. What is, he, is, he on, oh. is he on the ankle, I believe? He's about to film in that ankle. He's taking out the other leg so he can't kick him off. Oh, oh no. On. Stomped on it. That will absolutely fracture an ankle. No one is looking away from the ring at this point, but God only knows what's going on all over this building as there are wrestlers pretty much, it could be outside, it could be anywhere where you hear some commotion in the background, but every eye is on this fight. That's what I'm saying. Oh, no. oh, good Lord, it's not like a gunshot. Yeah, that's to match how heavy that chair is. You hear it thud on the floor. He stuck him, and look at the confidence. All that confidence has returned to the face of Roy Wilkins, the Mid-Atlantic Heavyweight Champion. A sea of middle fingers flying in his direction. And he almost seems stunned that the reaction is as it is, like he feels like they should appreciate him more after all this. Two chairs in the corner. Oh, he ran up! DDT! Man, he went for a tornado DDT. He couldn't really post off of the off of the ropes like he wanted to. He dropped him on his head, but yeah, he did not get the rotation like you'd want. And again, like you keep saying, they have not left Trevor's side here. Both men struggling. They get back to their feet. Both men up. Oh, an elbow in the corner. On a second time. Unbelievable resilience. How can you even run across the ring like this at this stage? A fourth elbow. And Wilkins is just lifeless in that corner. And Trevor Lee just tosses the man down, setting up something here. Maybe the deadlift Everest-style German. Now he's on the referee. Grief. That's our second referee down. And it gave Wilkins enough time to get, kind of get his bearings straight. Every eyeball is focused on this amazing match. And after all that chaos, after everything that's happened, we have come down to what we came to see. The two absolute best. And after this match, I don't think there can ever be a question. Oh, Trevor Lee springs into action. He's got the Camaro. Kevin Pierce is in. We're running out of referees here. I think we are. He's got that Camaro locked in. The arm has come back into play. Oh, oh my God. Hit the chairs. 
Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, he drop kicked his head into the chair! Wilkins drop kicked the head of Trevor Lee into the chair! And that may be what finally ends this amazing title fight. At a point in the match where your your brain doesn't get the oxygen or the blood it needs, and you take a sharp blow to the head like that, just drop kicked him right into the chair. What the hell is Wilkins doing? This, I believe, is something we have never seen. Yeah, it, you can almost see the wheels in his head turning. What's he looking for? He's like he's just surveying the surroundings to see what turns up. I think you're exactly right. Oh, what is that? Is that a kendo stick? It is a kendo stick. No doubt, a lot of stuff planted out here by the All-Stars tonight. Yeah, who knows what they haven't even gotten to yet. We know that, that the coach has bizarre pull and access to this building. Well, he is the most tenured employee at CWF Mid-Atlantic. Regrettably, it carries a lot of stroke. Regrettably, ownership in a stake in this organization, even a minority interest, carries a lot of weight. Believe me, we would have gotten rid of the coach by now if there was a way. And it's not like it hasn't been on the line in matches before. The SOB just stays alive. And he's passed that resilience, that cockroach-like resilience to the champion, Roy Wilkins. Yeah, Wilkins has fought like we have never seen tonight. And he's just choking man down. With a stick, no less. Oh, Trevor Lee, Trevor Lee may be fading. And it's not a traditional choke, it's not on the windpipe, it's across the carotid artery. Almost like a sleeper, same yeah. concept as a sleeper hold. Except it's a lot more rigid, no room for maneuverability with a stick. Fans in the Mid-Atlantic Sportatorium wow. still chanting for the challenger. He's, it looks like he's trying to undo the buckle here. Wait, no, no. He's wedging that, that kendo stick on the, on, the, on the turnbuckle. Oh, dear. Is he going to try to impale the man on that thing? <laughs> well, we have seen so much of oh, that, that both these men. Pretty gruesome way for things to turn out here. Yes, it would. But we have seen so much. I, I dare say that it will take a miraculous act to end this title fight. And Wilkins is still cocky as ever. As much of a beating as Wilkins has taken in the course of this match, he remains as cocky as ever. Hobbling, having trouble standing, Wilkins remains as cocky as he has ever been, and he may in fact have the championship in his grasp. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, oh! Oh, we don't need a Jaws 4 up in here with that kendo stick. Trevor Lee staying alive. Oh, duck the line, German. We have enough to Germany. It's the third time he's gone for it. Oh, Wilkins caught it in the throat. Oh, God, he may have crushed his larynx there. Wilkins caught the kendo stick in the throat, and he is down and hurting. Man, it's just as gruesome as we thought it would be. Into this matchup, Wilkins, the throat, the windpipe of the champion may have just been crushed. What will it take to win this matchup? Oh boy. And that may be, honestly, I feel like that may be the deciding factor if a man can't breathe. And he is about to swing for the fences with that kendo stick. Oh boy. Oh, before this bout, the coach said that Trevor Lee would strike out in this matchup. He may, in fact, hit one out of the park. Well, the mighty Trevor is at the bat right now, and he hasn't struck out yet. Good Lord, he's destroying Wilkins. And these people love it. Woo. Look at the fire, the passion, the pride of Trevor Lee. You can see it seeping through his pores. The pride, the passion of the challenger. He wants it more than anything. He wants to be the champion, not of the world, but of the Mid-Atlantic. Double star, sir! He crushed him. He crushed him. 86 minutes into this fight, he just crushed the champion. Man, Ben Wilkins moving to his feet before he can make the cover. Rolls through. Cross on breaker. And he can't do. He can't use the ropes. He is trapped. Oh, he, he 
got the arms class, so it's going to relieve some of the pressure. Trevor's game plan for the first, what, 30 or some odd minutes of this matchup was the arm. Maybe more than that, his game plan was the arm of Wilkins. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, he's got a, he's got a bunch of... Oh, oh, Trevor Lee cannot let his shoulders stay down. Wilkins can still win this thing in a flash if Trevor Lee does not make sure his shoulders stay off the canvas. He's trying to maneuver his... He just, oh! he just kicked referee Pierce low. Yes, he did! He's trapped in that cross. He's tapping out! Wilkins is tapping out, but there's no official! Wait, what is that? Okay, we got, okay, we got one more head to the ring. The hold has been broken. The hold has been broken. Put it back in the hold. Put it back. You had him tap it out. We got Walsh in the ring. This crowd is letting Wilkins know it, too. But unfortunately, Robbie Walsh can't go on here and say he didn't see it. And I think it's time to go to the can here. Oh, he threw it at the coach. The coach escaped that whole situation earlier unscathed. He just chased the coach out more importantly. Yes, he did. Oh, God. Every available body is watching every corner of the Mid-Atlantic Sportatorium. We want to see a winner and a loser in this one. We deserve it. These two amazing professional wrestlers deserve it. No matter what you may think of Wilkins, if he survives this one, you gotta believe he's earned it. Tap out that the referee missed, outside interference or not. If he survives this war, you cannot question that Wilkins is the most durable we've ever seen. Oh no! Trevor, you gotta get him in the ring and cover him! Everyone standing in the Mid-Atlantic Sportatorium! Trevor, you gotta end it now! We're not ready for you to leave yet! Get him in there and cover him! He's setting up the chairs in the ring. Wilkins, you gotta believe it, has KO'd out there after taking that kick. Friends, we are at 90 minutes. Sweet Jesus. We have passed 90 minutes in the damnedest fight we have ever seen. And I don't even gotta look at a record book. This is the longest match in CWF history. Yes, it is. Robbie Walsh trying to implore Trevor not to use the chairs. That's all he could do is implore. He can't stop him. Wilkins has not moved since that penalty kick. Two chairs are set up in an awkward way that I have, I don't recall ever seeing chairs set up in the, in the context of a wrestling match or anything else, quite frankly. Yeah, if somebody lands on that, that is incredibly dangerous. We talked earlier that we might see somebody get impaled. Yeah, that would do it. That could break a rib. That trash can's still in play. Fans, we thank you for staying with us on CWF Worldwide. This is a oh, super-sized episode like we have never seen. Champion and Challenger have passed 90 incredible minutes. If you have stayed with us throughout this entire championship match, we thank you so, so much. If you we, stayed with it, you have definitely gotten your, your time's worth here. Absolutely. The damnedest fight I think we've ever seen. And now, what is the challenger thinking it will take to end this matchup? You can almost see the wheels turning in his head. Yeah, he's got those chairs set up, and it looks like he's trying to figure out what exactly he wants to do with it. Oh. And we're, just like we saw Wilkins earlier, the wheels turning. Do we see the same thing with Trevor Lee right now? Wilkins has been brutalized, but so has the challenger. And he keeps looking at the chairs like, maybe he's thinking, do I need to get this desperate? I was about to say, it's almost like he's second guessing his original idea here. Like, do I, do I want to go down this road? Is my home worth it? Wilkins unbelievably gets out. Everybody want to slide? No! Ooh, that was, oh! 
Man, that was close. Oh. I cannot believe these two are still taking these amazing shots 90 minutes into this matchup. Oh, just an ugly elbow right to the midsection. Wilkins stopped him. Oh, dear. Oh, he tried to the tears. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Everyone in this building screaming for their life. If it has to be stopped, Wilkins retains the title and Trevor Lee must leave. He must respond to the official. And look at the internal struggle for referee Robbie Walsh. If Robbie Walsh has to stop this fight, that means Trevor Lee does not leave as champion and he leaves CWF forever. Trevor Lee must respond to the referee's commands. And if you're referee Walsh, do you want to save a man's career or do you want to kick him out of his home? And that's what he's thinking right now. I don't know, man, it's so, I, don't, I don't know if Robbie's got it in him to stop this thing. We all want to see a winner and a loser. Trevor Lee has got to respond to the official. We simply must. In this day and age, you cannot just let the fight keep going. Trevor Lee must show signs of life here. He must be able to defend himself. And Trevor Lee, as much as we love him, there is life beyond these walls, and referee Robbie Walsh has to think about that. Trevor Lee is proud to represent CWF Mid-Atlantic all over this world. He does not want to be driven out of his home. Robbie Walsh is going to let it continue. Trevor Lee is lifeless. Yeah, completely limp. Wilkins setting up the legs, seventh inning stretch coming up. And we have not seen it fully applied in this entire hour and a half. Until now. This is the way that Wilkins won the incredible no ropes match. Maybe the greatest pure wrestling match we've ever seen at CWF Mid-Atlantic. Wilkins won it in 40 some minutes with this very hold. Trevor Lee is showing signs of life now. But he has got to navigate out of this hole that he has tapped out to before. One of the few occasions Trevor Lee has ever tapped out. And we spoke of perspiration earlier. We're at the point of the match now where they're so dehydrated, there may not be a drop of sweat on them. Oh, wait, the arm has dropped. That's two. If the arm drops three times, two. this thing is over. Oh, no, 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 Trevor, keep your hand up. No, no, no. no he's still in it. No, Robbie Walsh adamantly says no. Trevor Lee is still alive. Oh, ah. That'll do it. Trevor Lee just, I, I, out of nowhere, just snapped back to life. If you're Wilkins, you're gonna go right back to it. Trevor kicks him in the face. A second, a third, four times. Just gonna keep kicking him in the face. Small package! Oh, oh, he rolled out of it, oh my. Oh, small package! Was gone. He tried to go for a long blow. Oh, 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 oh. The power driver is legal. And the coach is a non factor. The power driver and all its forms are legal. That one came back to bite the coach. Oh, golf swing right in the middle of the ring. Oh, and that's a thrust kick. They're just hucking bombs right now. I cannot believe these two are still going. Oh. The drop down. Can you imagine if Wilkins won this one with a drop down? The most basic fundamental of wrestling moves, of defensive moves. Oh, the graceful shining wizard all the way across the ring. The most amazing shining wizard maybe in the sport. And it may have just fallen Trevor Lee in this amazing battle. He's gonna set him up again for the ring of and he caught him. Drilled him with it. Wilkins. I think he's trying to move all that plunder out of the ring. Wilkins is back on his game here. Yes. Work smart, not hard. Golf swing. Oh, Trevor Lee collapses in the center of the ring. Trevor Lee collapses dead center. Trevor! Two! Two! But lost in all that, Roy Wilkins has strung together about three or four big offensive moves. Yeah, Wilkins is back on his game. We've talked about all the ebb and flow, the waves that this incredible match has gone through. Wilkins is back in his groove. He got the chairs out of the way. Work smart, not hard. Avoid big, hurting bombs. Wilkins is back in his groove. Late, and I do mean late, into this incredible bout.
And there's, if you're going to pick a time where you want to get on track, he picked the perfect time. Yeah, Wilkins is standing tall over the challenger. I cannot believe all the twists and turns that this roller coaster war of a matchup has taken us. We thank you for staying with us on CWF Worldwide for a matchup unlike anything we have ever seen. Trevor Lee is holding on for dear, dear life. And took an elbow right to the brain for his trouble. Oh, he's firing up. Yes, he is. Oh, Trevor Lee is absorbing those shots and continuing to move forward. Oh, he slapped the shit out of him. Oh, my God. This is what happens when you try to kick a man out of his house. He's going to fight. He's going to kick you the hell right out the door. I cannot believe they are still going. Cincinnati Destroyer. Oh, no! He stuck him with it. He stuck him with the Cincinnati Destroyer. And Trevor Lee has not moved an inch. He's just got to lay on the man. No, 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 no. Unreal. Trevor Lee has stayed alive. Trevor Lee has stayed alive. And the power driver, it's illegal for a reason. One of the most dangerous holds in wrestling. And Trevor Lee remarkably, unbelievably kicked out. We are almost at 100 minutes. You're damn right it is. Two men have epitomized the spirit of professional wrestling, not just in the Mid-Atlantic, but all over the world for the championship in this part of the world. Champion and challenger have fought for 100 minutes. And I don't care what promotion you're talking about or where you're looking, turn in your ballot right now because you're not going to see a better match of this anywhere. I will put these two oh, against any wrestler from anywhere. Wilkins is dragging that chair. It's almost like he's laboring just to move that chair. Yeah, breathing will become labor. Movement. I, 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 I don't want to write either one of these amazing athletes out, but I don't think we're going to see as many incredible strikes. I just can't imagine them having that much uh, throwing power in them at this point, especially Trevor Lee, who kick out or not, still just got spiked on his head and his neck. You know what? Even a marathon runner, when they cross the finish line, normally collapse. Trevor Lee has been responsible for 40, 45, 60, 65 minute matches. Has Roy Wilkins finally pushed Trevor Lee past his limits? You, you kind of had to know in the back of your head if there was anybody that could, it would have been Roy Wilkins. As we approach the 11 o'clock Eastern time hour, we thank you for joining us on this supersized CWF Worldwide. We will not leave until we get a champion. Oh no, he's got that chair set up. Is he gonna try to superplex him on the chair? Going back to the arm. Oh, he popped the hand! He popped the fingers, the yes, wrist! he did. Trevor Lee focused so much of his attack on that arm. Will it pay dividends? Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa! Oh, he's oh, the chair! His midsection went right across the back of that chair. He might end up coughing up some blood here. Oh, Wilkins! His insides are busted up here. And I don't know if that's what Trevor had in mind, but it worked out marvelously if you're Trevor Lee. Oh, man. And that chair has been a tag team partner for both for, I'd say, the last 30 or so minutes of this match. Unbelievable that we can even talk about time duration like that in a match. Yeah, it is. Oh, ooh, ooh. Oh, no. I don't really like where this is going. Like Roy Wilkins or not, he's still a, he's still a human being. He's got it, he's got it. I don't mind telling you, I just jumped out of my seat to help Trevor Lee if need be. I apologize, but I just jumped out of my seat if need be. Oh! oh!
Son of a... Oh! 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 He just brained Roy Wilkins with that chair. I'm sorry, I know this is a PC product, a PG product, but man, that was an FU to a champion if I have ever seen one. It's like every bit of frustration he's had came out. Trevor Lee. Lee. Set up a leg hold here, grapevine. Another Indian death lock. Oh no, I know what he's thinking, Brad Stutz. Oh, the chair. You learn a thing or two at Pro Wrestling Gorilla, it would seem. He's oh, just curved stuff the man face first into the chair. But the same situation applies if Wilkins does not answer the official. Trevor Lee cannot win it on a stoppage. He's got to be mindful of that. I don't even know if he realizes it. The coach knew what he was doing when he put that clause in there. The title only changes on a pinfall or submission. I can't believe it, but the coach knew what he was doing. And Trevor Lee, in, the, in his mind, he's thinking, win the match. What will it take? Is he going to set up Roy Wilkins for the pile driver? It is normally illegal. Oh, but not tonight! Just folded him up like a card table cover! One, two, two! I cannot believe it! I am not believing this incredible match! And Robbie Walsh made sure we knew it was two. Wilkins! He's still up. Wait a minute! Is that Brad Attitude? Brad Attitude has got the coach! Brad Attitude! We're gonna stop now! We're gonna stop now! We're gonna stop now! Trevor Lee is the champion! Unbelievable! Trevor Lee defended his home! And he is the new champion! Unbelievable! Oh my god! <laughs> Brad Stutz.